Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Girl K vlog and I look crazy, I know right now, but that's because I'm going to show you my whole process of my washing, deep conditioning, and getting my twist out style ready because it is time for my friend here to make her debut. Now, the reason why I say debut is because if you know and keep up with my channel, I wear wigs like from maybe my birthday until this time because it's cold and like this cannot stand the cold. So I usually wear my um, wigs like all every day. So it is time for her to come out and show out, of course. So I'm going to show you my process and we're gonna get right into it. So let's go. Alright, so before I wash my hair, I, I always start out by combing it out and I take a wide tooth comb and I just comb it out because um when I'm washing it, I don't want it to get all tangled. So I'm combing it out now so that it is easier, you know, to wash it. All the strands are combed out, so and you know, it just makes my hair look more crazier, but you know, that's okay because when I wash it, it'll be easier to manage. All right, so I have rinsed my, well, not really rinsed, but like wet my hair. And when I first start, I wet my hair with um, like not too hot, but warm hot water. Oh, I'm sorry, there's like hair getting all in my face because um, it gets like the initial dirt out. So I do that. And then now I'm going to put my shampoo and I'm going to use my Brio Brio Geo um, Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Hydrating Shampoo. So this is it. It has like a um, push top. This is the consistency. So it's like a, like that, there you go. Like a slimy, drippy consistency. And I just started using this product maybe a month ago and I honestly love it. I used to use Cantu, which I also love, but this was a black owned, um, if you don't know, this is a black owned company. And I love, I love the way it smells. I love the way it makes my hair feel. Like literally, as I was, ooh, ooh, as I was washing my hair just now, like my hair felt very soft, and that was like from since my last wash with this. So the product really like locks in your hair. Definitely want to get the ends because I use like a lot of edge control and stuff. So that's usually where the dirt like builds up. And I make sure like it gets to the scalp. So I use this method. And this is a method that like, um, like a lot of when I get my hair washed as a child, like my mother would s scratch her nails into my scalp just to make sure the soap, the soap, the shampoo gets in there. So I do that and I go all the way down. And I love you like you could see the coils. All right, so I rinse the shampoo out of my hair. Um, when I rinse shampoo out of my hair, I use cool water because it helps with keeping in the moisture of whatever product that you use. So it keeps the moisture locked in your hair. So definitely that's a, a tip when you're rinsing out product from your hair, use cool water. So now I'm gonna put a hair mask. Um, that's gonna be my version of deep conditioning my hair today. So for my hair mask, I'm going to use Miel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. It's infused with biotin and 
you know, biotinic encourages growth. Um, this is another black owned company. So definitely hit up all these black owned companies for sure. We got to support our people. So definitely, you know, buy their products. Um, I'm not going to lie, they're a little bit on the expensive side. Um, I don't remember how much um, their Bri Brio Jail products were, but um, they're not they're not cheap. So, I mean, they won't like, it's not like, a, I don't know. I don't even know, but they're not like um, inexpensive. So, I'm not going to lie. Like, if, they, if you want, you know, good products, you got to pay money for it. I mean, that's, that's like everything. That's like good food. You want natural food, better food, you got to pay more money for it. So, Definitely, but um, support your black owned businesses. All right, so when I put this product in my hair, I go from the roots, I, I start in the back, and then I go from the roots and bring it up to the front. I mean, bring it down to the strand so that it gets like the whole, you know, the whole strand and all, so. So I know you can't see the back really, but to me it's like putting in a perm. That's how it feels. Because you want to cover the whole head so that all parts of your hair gets the same treatment. Oh, I didn't even mention, I put my hair in four parts, just, you know, all of it can, all my hair can get the product evenly. So that's why you see the clips and the parting. All right, so according to the bottle, you're supposed to leave the product in for like 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to leave it in for 20 minutes to give it that, you know, to lock it in. And then I'm going to put my heating cap over it. This is my heating cap. Um, I just put it on like 45 seconds in the microwave. Um, I got this from Amazon, so we'll definitely leave the link below. And I'm going to leave this on for 20 minutes. So I will see you guys when that time is up all right so i washed the product out that i did a second set of a second a second shampoo and rinse so all the product is out and like as you can see like look at these look at these coils y'all like and i tell you like this shampoo that's why i love it like it really brings out all the curls and the coil pattern that my hair has so now i'm going to put in my conditioner and i'm going to use um, brio jail conditioner and this is called curl charisma it's a, it has rice amino and shake curl defining conditioner um these products have no sulfates no silicones and no parabens so there you go this is it and it also has why won't it open that push okay. and for conditioner I do put a lot because my hair is thick so it needs like a lot of product so unlike the shampoo it does have a different um, texture and consistency Like it's not, it's more creamy and you know, I don't even know the word, but you see. So I'm just gonna put it off in my hair. Make sure it gets to the ends and also to the top of the strands. I mean, the bottom of the strands. So I'm going to put a shower cap over this and then I'm going to leave this in. It says two minutes, but I'm gonna leave it in for like five minutes so you know, let my hair get, um, all that benefits from the conditioner and i will be back once i rinse it out all right so i washed the conditioner out now my hair is fully washed 
and ready so i'm going to dry it i don't dry my hair with a towel i dry my hair with a cotton t-shirt because it doesn't damage the hair like towels would i'm just going to you know dry it a little bit well not like fully dry because it can't fully dry with a towel but for the most part like make sure it's not wet and dripping so i'm going to use another biogeo uh, product this is leave in Feral Frizz Ros Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And you're supposed to spray this on damp hand and all throughout. So this is the nozzle. And I like this because it helps when I am ready to detangle my hair. It softens it. I'm going to put that throughout my hair. And just head it through so all my hair gets it. I'm gonna leave it a little bit, um, like five minutes and let it um gonna wrap it in my t-shirt and let it dry for a little bit more, and then I will come back to start twisting it. All right, now it's time to twist. So for um what products I'm going to use. So I'm going to spray my hair, well, each section with this. And what this is, is a um, prime and prep detangler from Prep Rally. And it really helps, like, if your hair is, like, knotted or, you know, tangle up, it really helps tangle it. So I'm going to spray this. Oh, I just sprayed some more. Oh, my God. But I'm going to comb it out. I'm going to use a pink comb to comb it out because the small comb is not doing what it's about to do. There we go. So to help twist my hair, I'm going to use the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. I'm not going to braid it too small because I do have to take it out. So I don't want it, you know, too small to the point where I have so much to untwist. Um, as you can see, I already sectioned out my hair, and the way I sectioned it out is the um, where I want it to fall. So that's why, like, you see, like, so many here on that side. Like, that's where I want it to fall and like create the parting there. And I'm just gonna start twisting it. Just it all the way to the bottom. So that one is done. take it out are you ready to see how it looks all right three two <laughs> 